I'm at Home Depot. I have organized the drawers. Really happy with how it came out. Yay. What the bitch? Good morning vlog. Welcome to another specifically house makeover video. Today is a little bit different. I am going to be DIYing my dresser from Ikea. So I'll show you guys what I kind of had in mind right here. Uh, but ultimately I decided I don't really know entirely what I want. So I have the wood contact paper. I have all the paint supplies and I'm just going to start painting the whole entire thing white. That way I can kind of go from there. Cause I know that I don't want it to be the color that it came in, which is that black, brown, random color from Ikea. It's not a bad color. Just not the vibe I'm going for. Hello guys. Okay. Basically I forgot to clarify that what I'm doing for this dresser is a little bit of a DIY project because the only dresser I could literally find any anywhere that actually fits between my door and that mirrored closet like I was talking about was this one $99 Cullen dresser from Ikea but it's a really cheap like kind of crappy one and it only comes in that black brown color so I ended up buying it and basically now I just needed to go get the paint and I'm going to paint it and that image that I showed you was kind of what I had in mind for what the DIY was going to look like so that's some clarity. So I'm gonna start painting it. I found instructions on someone else's YouTube video on like how to paint Ikea particle board very well and make it smooth and, and look actually good and not just bad. <laughs> so we're gonna do it and see how it goes. Ah! All right, I'm in Home Depot looking for paint for my dresser. So I'm gonna find that. I'm not really looking. Oh, there, okay. All right, got some paint and some primer. <laughs> Hello. Primer and paint and base camp and Nick is wearing a lot of rainbow. Looks good. All right, so this is the primer that I bought. Um, yeah, cool. It's water-based. I think anything works for that though. This is the actual paint that I got. We're hoping that I don't need to do a sealant because it has this kind of high gloss finish, but may need to order a sealer if it doesn't work out that way. So I'm just gonna start. I'm being very indecisive about what I want. And Nick is like, you need to figure it out. <laughs> but I'm just gonna do this and see what happens. Let's go. Catch the ball, buddy. Catch the ball, buddy. Oh. Paint is, there's something so satisfying about paint. It is. Even though this is just the primer. I'm into it. I only need a little. Oh shit. <laughs> Village. Not the best paint pourer. Do 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 do. Do 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 We freaking die. primed up these four drawers. Um, so I'm gonna let them dry now. Okay, they're all primed. I kind of messed up, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna pour the paint and get going on that. What do you have to say, Nick? The Raiders are this close. The Raiders are this close. Yes, we are watching football and paint partying. What's up you guys? Hello. I have some updates for you regarding my dresser. I don't remember what happened, but I filmed some footage of me finishing my dresser and I literally lost it. I think it got deleted somehow, which is weird. That never happens to me. I'm so organized with my footage, but whatever. I guess you don't need to see me finish building a dresser, but I'm just gonna show you what I did. So the last you saw was that I was painting these pieces of the dresser white. So here's the dresser. Okay, I don't know why the drawers are open. Excuse my mess. Okay, so I finished painting the dresser white and I ended up deciding to just have the entire thing be white and then to have the top of the dresser actually have this wood contact paper. So this is from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It looks so much better than I expected. It looks so real and all I did was put the contact paper on and kind of fold it under. So you can see like little imperfections like on this corner, how it's kind of like poking out. It honestly is not noticeable and I can fix that later if I really 
really want. So here's what the dresser looks like right now. The game plan with the dresser is that I'm going to mount this TV. I'm just waiting for another part to come in the mail so I can mount it. I'm gonna mount that and then this is actually going to have handles and legs. So I'll show you those right now. Okay, so I ordered some handles for my dresser and please tell me why. They only come in packs of five, which is so stupid because this dresser has six drawers. So I'm gonna have to order a whole nother pack just to use these, but this is what the handle looks like. It was my favorite one I could find on Amazon. I wanted both black and gold because I want basically the wood. I still want some gold accents, but I want it to look super just freaking cool. So I ordered these. Like I said, they come in a pack of five and they're basically gonna look like this. So that, if you can imagine, is gonna be an amazing little DIY dresser. And it all will have been very inexpensive. The dresser itself was $99. The contact paper was $7. The paint was probably like $10. And these handles were actually the most expensive, which were probably like $30 for a pack of five which still is not bad. So all in all, this dresser was probably 150 bucks, but it's totally the way that I want it. I feel like a lot of mid-century modern dressers are like way more expensive. So that's that. And then the final step of the dresser will be installing these legs. So it's actually going to be standing off the ground. So I have these kind of legs. They'll go like diagonal sort of like this, and there will be four of them. I haven't decided yet if I want to keep these black or paint these gold, but I think they go really well with the black handles. So installing that is the final part of this dresser and then mounting the TV and then this wall will be pretty much done for now, which is very exciting. <sighs> I'm so sick of my room being a mess, but I'll be done soon. So, oh, I also reorganized this bookshelf. So I moved it to the corner and I just totally purged and reorganized. Um, there's stuff all over so you can't really tell right now, but I basically went through it. This is such a cute little aesthetically pleasing, minimal gold black wood is kind of the theme and plants, gold black wood, plants and white is like my theme. Um, and then I need to like go through some of that stuff. But what I wanna show you guys right now is what I ordered from Amazon to organize these drawers. A huge thing that I've wanted to do that I see so many people do that makes a huge difference is like have drawer separator, separators and organizers. So I bought some from Amazon, I'll show you them right now. So the first kind of organizers I got are these like accordion ones. And what's so cool is that you can customize, you basically snap them together like this, and then you can customize like how many you want in in a row so that they fit your drawers perfectly. So this one I'm gonna use for like the underwear and socks drawer. And then the next kind that I got, these ones I see kind of around everywhere a little bit more. And these are just like expandable dividers that are plastic that really just kind of match and fit whatever drawer you have. So I may end up using these a little bit more on my closet drawers, TBD. But let's organize my freaking underwear drawer, shall we? Yay. This will be interesting. All right, after much deliberation, I have organized the drawers, got my undies, bras, socks, long socks, and bralettes. Amazing. I have recruited Nick to mount my TV for me because he has a drill. That's really what's gonna come in handy. That's the only reason why. Mm -hmm. I, it is, I needed a drill and that's. I need a drill. <laughs> but you'll probably just do it faster than me and so that's <laughs> great. cute little level it came Aww, with. I'm glad it came with one because I just usually use my phone, which oh, works. No, the apps, they work. They work! All right. <laughs> Again, the only reason I needed him was to ah. <laughs> Little did I know this entire time there was a spider just starting to make its way up my wall. Um, not the most fun. This night was definitely full of just scary surprises and tension, so fun times. Oh my God, why? <laughs> Where the where did that come from? Spider. <laughs> Where did it come from? That's the second spider. It's also, there's another one, or it's not dead. It's right there. Ah! Update time. Finally got the TV mounted on the wall. It looks really good. 
I didn't realize it was gonna stick out so far, but it actually is fine. Whatever. So that is done. Yay, it's still messy on top and everything. But next ginormous task, those boxes have been sitting there forever. We're finally gonna build my new bed frame and put this rug down. So I'm just gonna get a nice little before. Okay, we finally got the bed frame built. I got some new pillows from Ikea, but I have no idea if they're like good or not. I felt this test one and I was like, yeah, it feels soft, so we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Look at it, <laughs> nothing. Starts off like a burrito. Double wrapped Chipotle burrito. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. All right, squad, we uh, finished. We didn't finish. We didn't finish the drawers, but we finished the rest of it. Tried to get my room semi back in order. I can start to really visualize what it'll look like. I'm tired, my back hurts. I have to take ibuprofen because we're old and I was like hunching over like a freaking hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> I injured myself a little bit. No big deal, you can't even see, but it's cool. Hot off for now, catch you on the flipper. We'll build more things tomorrow. It's time to break this bad boy in. Oh, it's the same mattress, but different frame. But yeah, hopefully we didn't mess something up and it's gonna go crashing down. <laughs> we'll keep you posted if we die or not. See you tomorrow. Good afternoon, vloggity vlog. I'm back at it with the building of furniture. Nick left because he wants to go be active and I'm like, no, I'm being a hermit all weekend and just building. So let me show you the progress. I think I showed you what we did last night. We got the bed frame done without the drawers yet and the carpet. Lonnie's here. She is like our resident <laughs> friend slash loves to like build shit too. So this is awesome for me. So something really cool just happened though. Literally I've been like scrolling on Pinterest looking for what to do above my bed. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. But also, um, so these are like the handles. But first of all, hold on, back up. I just need to say that I knew I got a bed with storage because I wanted it. I did not realize how big the storage drawers are, which makes me so freaking happy. They're literally ginormous. I could like fit in here. <laughs> like actually, I literally could fit in here. That's kind of scary. Um, if there wasn't <laughs> Capacity yeah. 40, oh yeah, that's true. So I cannot fit in there. I'm glad you said that though because I would have tried it. I know. <laughs> been yep. So basically they come with these white handles because the look of this bed frame really is that it's like all white and pretty and flush and everything. But I think I mentioned earlier that I bought these handles for the dresser when I was building this. It only comes with five, which is so sad because obviously I have six drawers. So I needed to buy a whole nother case of them um, just for the one extra one. And so when Lonnie was like, oh, where's the handles? I didn't even know there were handles, but then I was like, wait a minute. I wonder if these are the same size and guess what they were so we screwed that one in we're gonna see how it looks with these handles instead of white ones I think it could be really cute we're gonna do it and we're gonna see like I'll know very quickly if I'm like no I want it to be just uninterrupted white or if I like it like this I obviously don't want it to be like too much of those handles but I think it looks really cool so woo, back to it and we'll see you later <laughs> okay so we actually ended up going with the white pulley things on this side because I realized I don't have enough of the other one. So I'm just now going to work on the final pieces of my dresser, these handles, while I'm watching the Shawn Mendes documentary. Um, Cause I needed some just kind of mindless entertainment. I love documentaries like this. They make me like wanna cry. And I'm like, oh my God, your life is so cool. How are this many people like here for you? Okay, anyway, I'll talk to you soon. All right, I finished. I put the legs on this dresser, but I am very sketched out because the dresser basically doesn't have a front and a back in the back. It's just like, 
one thing so I couldn't use the other leg so I put them in the middle as like extra support but basically the back of this dresser is only holding on by that so I'm just kind of waiting for it to like fall over but you know what I'm not gonna put that energy out there so we're gonna hope that it does the job and then I have my cord covers here. But yeah, I think that this looks really good. It looks a lot more like the dresser is a lot closer to the TV, which I feel like makes sense. So I like it. Okay, I feel like a lot of my clips in that video were super shaky and like, I'm sorry, that was a lot. So I'm just gonna give you a final rundown of what the dresser looks like now that it's actually complete. So as you can see, my TV is mounted. I've put a little bit of decor here. I may actually lower the TV a little bit just because I do think there's a little bit too much space between. But here is what the dresser looks like. Excuse Excuse the mess everywhere else. It is still a freaking mess everywhere. Um, but we've got this beautiful like wood looking finish and then we got the white and the drawer handles with the leg. So that's what that looks like. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think that it is such an improvement from the original dresser and I'm just really proud of it. So I'll link everything below in case you guys are interested in making your own DIY project and oh, slowly but surely the room is coming together. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.